right, hello and welcome on in. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different progress update. I'm going to do a little voiceover as we're showing off uh, what's going on with the new, uh, new mechanics, new changes, new things going on. So let's go ahead and jump on into it here. The first changes you're going to find are on the character screen. Uh, you'll see that we've got some locked characters and some characters we can pick. Uh, the locked characters are not done yet, uh, but the system will be reused uh, for uh, maybe DLC characters in the future. Um, we'll see how that goes, uh, but I, the system is done and working quite nicely. Um, so let's go ahead and pick up our tribe. Oh, oh, the other thing you'll notice here, we've got a new difficulty selector. Uh, this is for the fire knowledge tree. You can pick any of these and they all work just fine, so let's do it the normal plus. So first off the bat, uh, you'll notice that we've got no buttons for our forage, gather, harvest, and hunt actions. They are now card sliders up top. Uh, you just slide down whatever action you'd like to do, including the investigate fire action. Uh, this adds a little bit more tactile feel and, you know, less just button pushing. Uh, we do still have the craft and the trade buttons. You can go ahead and bring those up as normal. Uh, the trade button or the trade panel does now have a little helper tooltip. Head in turn here, and then we get to the rest of the changes. So we'll build up some actions here. And then we've got a free gather action, so we'll go ahead and hit that first. Do another gather. Oh, nerve got messed up. Um, go ahead and do that. Get some meat from Thunk. Oh, that was a good kill. We got two from his. Ability and kill him. All right, let's go ahead and end the day now. Um, as you can see, you can go ahead and pop them up, and it lowers. So we could we could spin this uh, fire knowledge points here before we go ahead and end the day. So on the night phase, we filled the empty space with fun little story that gets generated based on what you do during the day. So this is going to be how you can kind of recap what all happened during the day, because some days a lot of stuff can go down. Eventually I want to get it so it has multiple different generations and different texts for uh, different events that can happen throughout the game. Just a fun little, uh, fun little extra feature I added there. Uh, morning phase, nothing really different. Uh, you can still drag your items, unequip them, trade them to other characters, uh, all that fun stuff. Uh, but I think that does it for most of the changes. Um, I did add in a new ability for development builds to uh, have a log system. Um, this is going to be good for the new beta testing coming up uh, real soon. Uh, I will have the link in the description for this video if you'd like to sign up for future tests uh, using Android and or Steam. Um, if you have an Android phone, that'll probably get you into the test the quickest. Um, iOS support, I'm hopefully uh, going to have eventually down the line, uh, but will not be right off the bat. Um, all right, well, thanks for checking it out, guys, and uh, until next time, don't let it die.